Hey, Vanessa. How's it going? Hey, Jessica. It's a high-tech morning. The farm bill text from the House Agricultural Committee just dropped. I said, was my way to the office? Oh, my goodness. All right. So thanks for pausing to chat with us a little bit. I put my blazer on today in honor <laughs> of farm bill day. <laughs> yeah. So, so tell us what this, what this means. Like, what is this draft kind of in the, the process of the farm bill reauthorization? So technically, this is the first step. We have seen priorities and frameworks released, but actually, actually seeing the first legislative text from one of the committees is actually the first step that we can take towards having a farm bill. So the text was just released and we will be spending the next few days, the policy team uh, reading it and analyzing, and we will take a reaction next week along with the rest of the ecosystem of food and agriculture movement. And next week, there will be a markup where the committee can amend uh, the proposal and then you can move to the house floor. Okay, so that hearing is happening. It's scheduled for next Friday, the 23rd. Thursday. Thursday. Oh, Thursday. Thursday is the 23rd. Okay. Um, so we we had gotten summaries of this draft from the House, and we also got um, some summaries, a framework of the Senate version of, of the bill. Um, what were our kind of general reactions to the, the House bill based on the summary so far? Yeah, based on the summary, we are excited that programs that we care about get reauthorized again. And that's like farmer mental health, like the Cultivate Most Network and Photo that trains and focuses on beginning farmers and socially disadvantaged farmers. But aside from that, we did not see a lot of the crucial investments that we need. Aside from the pilot program for pre-approval that we really care about, we did not really see a bill that is representative of the investments that the next generation of farmers need around credit, land and conservation. So we're a little worried when we head out to read the text of what we're going to find, because we don't think there's going to be a lot of young farmers' priorities there. Okay, so the, the policy team is going to be digging into the actual text, the language over the next few days, uh, over the weekend, <laughs> and um, we'll be sharing a more in-depth analysis of what's included. Um, can you remind folks some of the ways at this point in the process that they can really engage if they want to try to make sure that our priorities do end up being included in the bill? Yes. So the most important thing that you can do right now, if you are representative uh, in, a, in a district that has a House Agricultural Member Committee member on it, when we tell you what the things in the bill are that we like and we do not like, you need to let them know super fast, like Monday and Tuesday and, and Wednesday before the markup. So we need to make sure we have a room to either amend the bill or basically vote no on the bill because it's not, it does not represent us. So it's really important that you stay put with your farmer updates so you can share your feedback about the things that you like and don't like about the bill and the things that we will tell you that are not good investments or the right investments for young farmers. So that that link is youngfarmers.org slash advocate. And that's where you can sign up for the Farm Bill Action Network. If you opt into text messages, we can shoot you quick updates when progress is being made and other action opportunities. You can also go to youngfarmers.org slash farm bill where we will be posting um, updates and news and, and links to our actions. And make sure you're signed up for our newsletter and following us on social media at Young Farmers uh, for more important updates. Thank you so much, Vanessa. I'll let you get into the office, but thanks for making a couple minutes to chat with us about, about this exciting news today. Bye. Thank you, everyone.